Hi, I'm Pam Fox. Thank you for being here. Really quick, I'd love to do um, some of my tips for Zumba. So I've been doing Zumba for the last couple of months. I just can't even put into words how much I've been enjoying it. But I, so now that I've been doing it for a couple of months, I have some things I'd like to share, just a few simple tips and encouragements um, for those of you that are maybe thinking about getting into it or beginning to get into it. So the first thing is, is you have to be prepared to um, really go into it with a certain degree of abandon. So if you're worried about getting the steps right or looking right or keeping up, if you're worried about any of that, you're not going to enjoy it as much. Um, and really the key is because for some people it is going to be really hard to get the steps. For some, maybe they'll pick them up easier. Maybe if you've had some um, dancing background, it might be easier for you. But I would say for most people, it's it's a little tricky that, to pick up the steps. Once you do, however, you can really relax and just let yourself go and enjoy um, the movement, the music, the dancing, and all the wonderful sensations that come with it. But really, it's just a matter of just trying to relax and just do something. Even if you feel like you're doing it wrong, I mean, really pay close attention to the teacher and um, notice the small details and, and try to mimic those, but just try to relax, let your hips relax and really let your shoulders and your hips, just let them move um, freely. And they will probably start to flow into those movements that, the way that they're supposed to, if you just can relax and just let them move. Um, you're just gonna enjoy it so much more if you can just really get into it and, and let your body really move. If you're really stiff and trying to focus on, you know, getting the proper technique and the moves down, it's just, you're not gonna enjoy it nearly as much. And that does take time. It takes time to get to that point where you can really relax. So, so that's my second tip is to really um, give this a chance, be patient with it. Um, your first few classes may be a little frustrating and less enjoyable, um, but if you just try to relax your hips and your shoulders and move, even if you're doing the movements wrong, just move your body. You're gonna end up sweating because you're moving. Um, you're going to get a good workout, so you're going to feel those um, the adrenaline endorphins and so forth, and so you're going to you're probably going to walk away with a feel good um, sensation. But um, but do be patient with yourself. And then my third tip would be to um, to not overdo it. So um, if you haven't been exercising for a significant period of time, maybe it's been six months, maybe it's been a year, maybe it's been 20 years and you used to be young and fit and you could go do something like that and it was no problem. And so then you go into a situation and you think, you know, that you have this ability that you may not really have. And so then, you know, you wake up the next day and you can barely get out of bed. You're so sore. We, you want to avoid that. So, so there is a fine line. You want to relax and let yourself go and have fun and get a good workout, but you don't want to push yourself so far that you injure yourself or that you can't get out of bed the next morning or that you're so sore that it's going to affect your ability to live your life for the next couple of days. That soreness is a good thing, but you don't want it to be, you know, so severe that you can't, you know, get up and take care of your kids or go to work or whatever you need to do. Okay. So that let's get, we've got those out of the way. So my next three tips, this is a really good one. So <laughs> I'm 46. I've had two children. And after my second child was born, I began to have some problems with incontinence. Um, not horrible, but just occasional leaking, especially if I'm doing anything active, like jumping up and down or running or dancing or getting on a trampoline or anything like that. I would notice <laughs> the urine would just come right out of me. Um, you know, I wouldn't have the you know, huge accident or anything, but there was definitely some leakage. And so I've just, you know, that's just been a part of my life since I had kids and, you know, my daughter was born in 1995. So I've just, that's just been a normal part of my life. All of these years, I kind of hoped maybe something would heal throughout time and that would get better, but it hasn't. Um, so the first night I went to Zumba, I was afraid this was going to be a problem. So I just wore, you know, a little maxi pad, which I hate those things. They're so uncomfortable. Um, <clears throat> but that's what I did and, and that worked. But then here's my tip. Then it occurred to me that, uh, when I'm on my period, so when I'm on my period, I use the menstrual cup and I do have, I'll link my review of the menstrual cup in the, in the description box below, but I love the menstrual cup. I'll never go back to tampons or pads. It's just a total game changer. But one thing, the one thing I don't like about the menstrual cup is that it does inhibit urine flow a little bit. So when it's in and I have to go to the bathroom and I'm going, you know, I'm peeing, I have to really sit there and relax and kind of sit there and wait, you know, 
and not be in a rush if I want to fully urinate because it inhibits the flow of urine a little bit. And so I was thinking about this and I thought, well, why don't I wear my menstrual cup um, what, to Zumba and see if that helps? And it totally does the trick. I can jump up and down all day long. And if I've got that thing in, there's not, there's no problem. So that's a great tip if you've got issues with incontinence. And I know there are other people in my class with issues with incontinence because I see them running out the back door to the bathroom in the middle of the class when we're doing, you know, really a lot of um, rebounding. So um, that's number one. And then number two is to make sure, and this is a real kind of a, a duh obvious tip, but um, make sure you're wearing a really good sports bra. So in Zumba, really you can modify Zumba so your feet don't even leave the ground, but there is a lot of, a lot of bouncing, a lot of jumping. And so I don't know about you all, but for me, my chest gets pretty tender, especially certain times of the month. And so there's no way I'm going to be jumping up and down, um, in those situations. So it's really important to have those babies locked down and in tight and a really good sports bra will do that. I have been known to wear two really good sports bras just to keep everything secure and tight. And then there have been nights where I've been at Zumba where I literally am dancing, you know, while I'm holding on to myself um, because it's painful to, to jump up and down um, when they're not locked in tight. So a really good quality sports bra is key. And then of course, um, you know, comfortable shoes, obviously. And then one night I noticed my pants were falling down at Zumba because I didn't have a drawstring on the pants. So a good pair of tight fitting, you know, pants with a drawstring because that bouncing up and down, you know, the gravity is going to cause things to go south. So, um, so those are my tips. I do have one more tip and it actually is the most important tip. And I talk about this all the time on this channel. If you're this, if this is your first time to my channel, I am vegan and veganism totally revolutionized my life. I have a long list of things that completely healed from going plant-based. Um, and one of them, one of the things was chronic fatigue. And so in the past, if I were to try to go to a class like Zumba, I wouldn't have been able to last the full hour. I would not have had the fuel to do it because of the, because I wasn't eating properly. Um, so now I eat plants, which are healthy carbohydrates, and that is our body's number one prefer preferred fuel source which means my, my fuel tank is always full because I eat a lot of food. I eat uh, frequently throughout the day, large meals, and um, I have really high energy. So this was the, 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 the most famous thing about taking this Zumba class was going, wow, I can do this and I have energy and I'm able to do it and I'm able to not just phone it in and kind of, you know, breeze through the motions half, you know, asked. I was able to actually go in 100% and just really relax and have fun and, and do the motions and not worrying about just totally being wiped out and not being able to have the energy to do it. And you know, that that sensation of not having the energy to do a class like that will make you not want to come back. It's like, why bother? I, I can barely do it. I don't have the energy to do it. And so by eating a plant-based diet, high in carbohydrate, low in fat, frequent meals, really filling up, making sure your fuel tank is full all the time, you can go into this type of exercise with no problem. You will be fully energized and it just, it feels wonderful to be able to, to keep up and not only just keep up, but to really, really put your all into it. I mean, you know, certain moves where you're not just, you know, doing it, you know, a little bit, but you're really just getting into it and putting your all into it. It's just a really wonderful feeling of, you know, feeling youthful and energized and young and strong. So I hope this helps. And if you are a, a fellow lover of Zumba, um, you know, hello to you all and um, keep it up, keep at it. I, I, it's just, it's such an enjoyable thing, isn't it? And, um, and I will continue to do so as well, as long as I enjoy it. So y'all out there have a great day and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.